Hi, my name is Brian Root. I'm the president of Celadon Systems. And what we're going to show you today is how to maintain your Celadon Ceramic Pro Card for maximum performance in terms of leakage and to remove any particulate on the ends of the tips so that uh, it will work just perfectly for you. What we've done here is I've actually aligned this Pro Card and you can see through the microscope there's a target. The first circle is a 50 micron diameter circle. You can see the probe tip is right smack in the middle of the, of the target. And what we're going to do is show you that it's perfect now and after we clean it, even though we've scrubbed it, the probe will not move. Now again, what we're going to be doing is cleaning it today with uh, two important tools. The first tool is this high-tech, soft, Oral B toothbrush that you can pick up at any drugstore. You'll notice that the, the tips are flat. Make sure you get flat, none of the fancy ridged things. Make sure it's also soft. Okay? Now, what we're going to do also is we're going to use methyl alcohol. Use semiconductor grade methyl alcohol or ethyl alcohol. Do not use uh, isopropyl alcohol because isopropyl alcohol will leave a residue and will make your, the, your leakage performance worse. So what this is going to do is not only is it going to clean the particulate off the tips, but it's also going to clean off the ceramic from any contamination that, that is deposited on that from use in the laboratory and get it back to the excellent leakage performance that you are used to. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to dip the toothbrush into the alcohol and now all I'm going to do is scrub it. And you can see that you can scrub it fairly aggressively without any concern that you're going to hurt the probe tips. And remember the, the probes themselves are embedded into the ceramic and the ceramic protects the probes. And what we're doing now is we're cleaning the, 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 the particulate and contamination off the probes and the ceramics. So you can see I've brushed it. I can brush it any direction that I want to. You'll notice that I'm keeping the, the uh, toothbrush flat. Okay, so now we've got it nice and clean. I'm gonna take either dry nitrogen, this happens to be dry air. Use dry nitrogen or dry air to clean off the probe card. So I blow it off, move the alcohol out of the way so I don't uh, spill it. And then we can look back down the microscope and you can see that the probe has not moved even with all of that nice aggressive scrubbing. And now you'll find when you go back out to your um, tester and you actually do the testing that you're going to be back to wonderful performance. Now another thing that you might find out too is that you might actually want to put a toothbrush and the methyl alcohol right out by your prober. So that if, while you're doing your work, you need to stop, clean it off, very easy. A number of our customers just keep toothbrushes and the alcohol right out at all their various probers so they can do their cleaning very, very quickly. So that's how easy it is to work with the, the Celadon ceramic probe cards, and I hope you enjoy working with yours. Thank you very much.